Okay, quick thing, guys. I'm going to just go over real quick. Uh, I don't know if this will get flagged by WWE, but obviously I don't really care. Uh, um, Here you got Jinder Mahal right here. He's the new number one contender. When there already is a number one contender, that's Bray Wyatt. Where the freak are they going with this exactly? I'm hugely confused of what type of booking is this exactly. The number one thing, Bray Wyatt's doing everything he's supposed to do. He's selling you on the whole, I'm going up against Randy, House of Horrors match, you know, going for the title. Bray's doing what he wants to do. Meanwhile, last week he's like, oh, Finn Miller, I might get you too. Meanwhile, you got Randy coming out here. Oh, I'm going to hit you with an RKO. And, you know, by the way, you're the number one contender. I'm going to face you at the next pay-per-view. Uh, you don't do that, dude. Booking number one is you never discard the last guy. The commentators are constantly screwing up and saying that he's going against Randy Orton. Is the House of Horror match not a, a title match anymore? If that's the case, Bray's going to go over Honestly, that'd be better off. It's his match. He's making it. Why would you have him even lose it? Like, it's better. It, honestly, you put the title up there. You could only say, like, 33 guys, like, or so, if one in the history of wrestling, technically, or WWE and stuff. So, when Bray won it, it's a big deal, you know? Oh, he's going to have that. I got his trophy when he won the Elimination Chamber and stuff. Bray is selling this and making you think, oh, maybe there's a chance he's going to win or not, you know? <laughs> he's doing what he's supposed to do. Everything else of this view doesn't make sense. Like, the booking doesn't make sense. Nothing is going on right now. What the hell is going on exactly? It doesn't really, like, I'm hugely confused. The boom, like, is the last the rumors going around, Bray's been, got switched up on at... You know, WrestleMania last minute, and he was told he's not going over. And Randy, you know, had owed it when he got his butt kicked by Brock Lesnar. If it said, "Oh, I owe you one," you know, like, okay, I get it happened. It's over with now. Bray, everybody's first title raid is always low, it's not long anyway. But not just being a Bray Wyatt fan, just a fan in general. What the fuck is going on booking wise? This is a fucking mess. Bray's the only one doing his job. Everything else about it is, I don't really, you can't really blame Brandy too much, but, like, what the fuck is going on exactly? Who the fuck is supposed to drive this? Like, everybody wants to know what this House of Horror match is going to be. But, like, everything else about it is, like, hugely confusing. What exactly do they want to do in the House of Horrors match? Is it going to be, like... The Y compound match against New Day, a or AKA the final deletion type of thing. That'd be fine. It's great for us to see on TV. Those are the not going to the event, but kind of sucks a world title match. You're going to the event and you're just going to watch it on the Titan Tron. That's a little. <sighs> I can see directions like that should be special network things where they want to have a production value behind it and literally have it to where nobody's going to be at the event. It's something. Oh, you gotta watch the network if you want to see a world title defense, Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt. Make it its own thing, like make it like almost a movie type of thing, where it's a thirty-minute special of literally Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt going against each other in a House of Horrors match for the title. This way, you're not sending what brand goes to what, and you're not you're literally saying no, you don't know what's gonna happen. But because Bray went to Raw, Randy is on SmackDown. Everybody's assuming that Randy's just gonna win. I necessarily don't think that's the case now. Not just being a Bray Wyatt fan. I think the booking is so screwed up on this. From Jinder Mahal becoming the number one contender, something's wrong here. It makes me think that they're trying to swerve us completely over to where you think it's the booking is so bad that, oh, Bray's not going to win it. Because everybody's saying Bray's not going to win it. So Bray should win it then. I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. The, the bookie can't be that bad. They can't be that fucking stupid. That they literally made a number one contender before the other match was completed yet. Like, you're booking a number one contender that's not even really a mid-carder, has never made a bit in a Raw, for Christ's sake, or a SmackDown, or a Superstars, or whatever the hell... Velocity or whatever the hell type of stupid shows. The guy's never headlined yet. How are you going to sell that for a pay-per-view made event? It doesn't make sense. Like, uh, what's the next one? Uh, 
I forgot the hell of the next one after Payback is. It's a SmackDown exclusive. I just don't see it, man. I just don't see it. All right, I'm going on and on about it, man. But if I'm going to say, if it, somebody's going to win the pay-per-view, I'm going to say Bray Wyatt's going to win it simply because the booking can't be that bad. I think that they're trying to swerve us. The Universal title is going to be this upper echelon thing that's defended only once in a blue moon, and that's why Brock Lesnar has it, and the world title's going back to Raw. And that's the title that's going to be defended here and there, and that's the title that's going to be on TV. That's why the Universal title is putting God up there. AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, they're defending it on SmackDown. That's the main title on SmackDown now. I think that's what's going to happen, man. All right, take care. I know it's my first wrestling video. Didn't really want to make it go too long, but yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. Take care.